In today's video, I want to talk about being bullied and staying true to yourself. When you know yourself and what brings you happiness, others may feel envy, especially when you can be happy with almost nothing. They want this ability too, but they can't have it. It's not your fault. You're not responsible for their feelings. I've never understood why there is such thing as envy when everyone is different and possesses their own strengths and weaknesses. But people are the way they are, and we need to accept it and know how to interact with them. Sometimes people can't stand seeing someone else's success or joy, and they do everything they can to stop it. The most common way is to criticize. I had friends who were called nerdy or geeky for their love to stay home and play sims. Now, these same people are professional interior designers or programmers, and everyone who bullied or called them names is suddenly interested how come they are so successful. I want to share my personal example. I was very much into animals from the early childhood. However, my parents only allowed me to have a cat, which I'm really grateful for. Anyway, I was dreaming about a dog, and I was feeding and playing with all the stray dogs of our neighborhood. I was volunteering at the shelter. My classmates would call me names and thought I am crazy and obsessed with animals. They tried to push the idea that I cannot interact with humans and I am somehow deficient, so that's why I spend so much time outdoors, surrounded by creatures. Maybe it was hard for them to accept I was not interested in them, so bullying me was their defense mechanism. Long story short, I graduated from university, learned foreign languages, and found a high-paying job, which allowed me to fulfill my childhood dream. I started to take horseback riding lessons. As you know, this is an expensive hobby. Many people consider it elite and something a sophisticated person would choose to do in their free time. For me, it's just another way to connect to animals and spend time outdoors. I am still driven by the same passion I had when I was a little kid, yet suddenly many people from my school became interested in what I'm doing. They literally appeared from nowhere, acknowledged my existence and started following me on social media, and they never skipped any single story I post. Their perception of me changed just because I added financial investment to being myself. Obviously, horseback riding costs money, unlike hanging out with stray dogs, which I was doing in my childhood. Whenever money is involved, people become curious. The minute someone monetizes that a weird hobby, everyone suddenly starts to admire them, but these people were the same when they were in school. And back then, they were ostracized and bullied for being true and authentic. The moral of the story is to never give someone right to validate you. You are the only person who knows yourself. Our biggest potential as humans lies in the core essence of who we are. And we were all made different to make this world balanced. We were not born to comply with the trends or copy each other. The only thing we should strive for is to uncover our talents and virtues. So don't let anybody interfere.